Uh, what I'd like to do now is uh, just show you a few little features of CERT 4.0. First thing you'll notice is the, uh, the color schemes and the diagrams are a little bit different. Uh, this shows we have a restoration on two and three. If we wanted to do four, we'd click on that as well, and then we would tell CERIC, you know, if it was a crown or inlay veneer, much like we would in the past. Acquisition is when we're taking our images. Now, the nice thing about this is there's no longer just plain libraries, the, or uh, designated libraries, I should say, like antagonist, buckle, or occlusion. Uh, or preparation, they're just images, they're just models. So we have a lower jaw, we have an upper jaw, we have a buckle bite. If we needed another model, we could add another one if we wanted. So it's very versatile in that regard. If we had a, a crown on tooth number three, along with a crown on tooth number 30, we can image both of those at the same time. Both of them are the preparation models. So they just have to be spliced together with the buckle, buckle bite. You'll notice at the top, we have a number of buttons. Uh, this is the flow. This is uh, where you tell CERC the different areas in the program that you want to work on. Right now, I'm in the model. So if I wanted to adjust or trim the model, I can do that here. This is where we draw our margin, similar to uh, earlier versions of CERC. But this is the, the, the main difference, the design. So I'm going to click on the design portion. And you'll see that uh, two and three have already been designed or proposed using the biogeneric model. And yes. now where we find our tools is actually in what's called the bagel. So I'm going to right click on the, uh, the proposal there. And, the, and a circle comes up and you'll see a number of different tools. We have the form tool, form plus, the form minus tool. We have the smooth tool, uh, the form 3D, which I'll show you. And then the Autoform 3D, we have a move tool similar to what we had in the past where if we wanted to use it, bu move it buckle, lingual, mesial, distal, cervically, occlusally, whichever direction. We also have the ability to rotate it in different axes like it was in the past. But then we also have another uh, option, let's say. This is recalculate the restoration. Let's say, for instance, you're working on it and it just seems like you're spending too much time and you want to re, you want Sarah to rework it. You can hit that button and it will run the biogeneric process again and you may find that it gives you a slightly different proposal which uh, you can then work with. So that's very powerful rather, rather than having to red arrow and then green arrow back forward. So um, the form tool is uh, much like we're familiar with and the smooth tool. The form 3D, let's click on that and use it. What you'll notice is that it selects different areas. You can see the orange as I'm putting the cursor around. So it's actually selecting cusp tips and, and uh, marginal ridges. And if I wanted to move this cusp tip over, all I have to do is grab it and move it, but it keeps the anatomy of it. So it's much like a positioning tool where I can just move this one section of this tooth. Or if I wanted to make it uh, Occlusally, I can grab it and then roll it up and pull that. Obviously, we wouldn't want to do that, but this is how the tool is utilized. If I wanted to change tools, it's much more efficient with the bagel because all I have to do is right click and open the bagel up rather than going back and forth, left and right, left and right, selecting a tool. So I'm going to pop the bagel up. We'll look at the Autoform 3D. And then this is where it actually, when you put the cursor over different areas of the proposal, it will automatically grab or select those areas or regions. So if I wanted to adjust the distal lingual cusp, the entire distal lingual cusp is now highlighted. And then I can tell it to move either towards the distal, occlusally, lingually, however we want it, but as, a, as an entire region of the proposal rather than a defined uh, surface. So those, in summary, those are the tools that are available. If I wanted to go then work on tooth number two, all I have to do is click on it. Three is not uh, set in stone. We can go back to it and adjust it. So if there was an embrasure shape or something that you were trying to get exactly right between those two restorations, now you have the full versatility of doing both of them at the same time. So we have those two proposals done and completed. We're then going to go to, to the top and then hit mill. 
We still have the ability to change the block. Uh, if you look down at the bottom, we can uh, change the block size. Uh, actually, another feature in 4.0 is we actually select the block manufacturer at the beginning, so we already know um, uh, what we're gonna be using, so it would already be set up at this point, but we still have the ability to change now if we like. So right now we have the sprue on the buckle surface, which would be a good place, but if we wanted to change that, uh, or let's say change the uh, proposal within the block, we can rotate the block now. It'd probably be easier if we saw it this direction. So we can change the position of the block. And what's nice about that is in prior versions of CEREC with our polychromatic blocks, we could only move the restoration up or down vertically, which was still powerful, but now let's say if we had one cusp area that was more translucent or more opaque, we now have the ability to totally customize the position of the polychromatic block. We're gonna to go to uh, set the sprue, so we can now change where the sprue position is. So now the sprue is on the buckle. If we wanted to roll the sprue over towards the, uh, the mesial, which we obviously, there may be an advantage to do that. But now we can have total custom, uh, custom ability to put that sprue where we want. Now in this particular case, it's probably coming out of that mesial buckle uh, a little bit. But uh, the point is, is that we can now tell CEREC this is where the sprue position is, which is incredibly powerful, especially when we're doing anterior restorations.